Hey, so I wanted to make some videos on my microcontroller. I've been decided to start playing with this thing again. And uh, this is an A Tiny 2313. And I bought, um, finally broke down and bought a USB programmer. It's just getting too hard to find computers with serial ports anymore. Um, it's kind of like the preferred method of doing it. And essentially, what happens is that <laughs> you hook this into the USB programmer, and in reality, it turns it back into an old school serial port. So it's kind of interesting, but these things have come down so much in price um, that I finally finally broke down and bought one. They're really small, and I actually uh, loaded a program already in here. And uh, so all I'm doing now, you can't see it. I'm just going to plug this into my computer. And at this point, I'm just using the USB port for power. And there we go. And it might not seem like much, but I'm making this LED blink. Um, and this is my uh, positive rail and this is my negative rail and the jumper is like on I think that's one over here and this is ten so it's about on I don't know pin ten nine it looks like it's on pin eight I got it in there and so essentially what you do is you write some code um, like in C C programming language then you compile the code and you end up with a hex um, code and then you load that program, I use a program called uh, AVR Dude, and um, I use that program to load the program through my USB connector that I showed you, and it dumps into the Tiny 2313. Um, just for speed sake, I took, uh, let's see if this will zoom in, the connector right there, and just used jumper cables and plugged them in the appropriate uh, ports. Um, and I'm actually, uh, so there's like a, this is a 10 pin version, it's kind of, it's like the extended one because like a lot of the pins aren't used, I don't know if you can see this or not, let's see, yeah, it's kind of crowded looking in there, but a lot of the pins aren't used, and uh, two of them, one's ground, one's positive 5 volts, and again that's coming from the computer through the USB port, and that leaves you with like about, I don't know, about four cables that you connect and you look up the specs of the microcontroller on the computer or on the internet and it'll tell you for an A-Tiny 2313 which uh, pins are required. Basically you got a sending pin, a receiving pin and all the other pins there's like, I believe on this controller there's three banks an A bank, C bank, and oops, excuse me, A bank, a B bank, and I believe a D bank. I don't know why I skipped C. And those banks will have be assigned maybe eight pins each and uh, so essentially what I did is I just said okay I want you you take the bank that you want to deal with and that's probably B bank I'm not even sure and then um, then you say in that bank I want to, you send it a bit pattern and essentially turn that bank I turned it into an output or at least that pin turned it into an output and then I told it to turn the output on, wait a few seconds, and then turn it back off, wait a few seconds, and uh, that's what's controlling. So kind of my next step would be, I'm going to get a switch here, this is for a, let's zoom back out a little bit, this is a, a, a hood switch for a car, and I, was, I got these really cheap off of eBay, and they were expensive locally, like a Walmart and stuff, and uh, but I was disappointed how simple they are. It's just like a rod with some threads on the outside. It's got a spring, very tight spring inside. And so when it's, the hood's closed, the spring's out. And you should put a clip on the end of that. And then when somebody opens your hood, it closes it and completes the circuit. So I'm going to probably put this on here and put another pin to monitor this. That's probably going to be my next step. Is uh, So when the hood is essentially open, then I'm going to cause that uh, light to light, and when you close it, um, or when you open it, the light will go out. When you close it, um, the light will turn on, and then I'll probably evolve it to a buzzer there. And eventually, I'll probably try. I think I want to try to turn this into a little car alarm system. See how that goes. Anyways, I thought I'd just make a little video showing my progress. Um, anyways, that's about it. If uh, anybody has any questions, feel free to post in the comments and I'll elaborate more.